Hi guys, how's everyone doing today? Ajibala Kemcho, add sub, kese ho. So today I am discussing the D4 chart, okay? Or the Chatur Tamsa chart. Now this, just like my last D3 video, this is also not a chart that is looked at quite too frequently that I also think personally is a big mistake, okay? And I'm gonna tie that reasoning in along with what the D4 chart actually represents. So. D4 chart, for those of you guys who are somewhat knowledgeable in the field of astrology, represents uh, like comforts, home life, things like this. Now, D4 chart, in my opinion, just represents comforts or I guess you can say a certain type of happiness in general. Like the type of happiness that comforts give you, that, that type of happiness in general, okay? I don't really know the exact quite word for it, but I just want you to get that taste of whatever that energy is, okay? Now, the thing is, if you notice, the D4 chart, they say represents home life, right? Because home is where you find comfort or that type of energy of happiness the most. But what you need to understand is that, in my opinion, at least, and you might have heard this in other videos, is that each divisional chart, it doesn't represent a certain thing. It represents a certain energy, but people just correlate that energy with that thing, usually due to the fact that that, that thing represents uh, that energy the most. For example, D10 chart, it represents how you feel karmically about everything you do in general. But because career is the thing that you do the most, you tend to just coin D10 chart with career. Same thing with D4 chart. You tend to coin, you tend to look at it just for home because home is where you find comfort or that happiness the most, but it represents comforts and happiness in all aspects of your life, okay? So, and this is huge, why? Because that energy of happiness or that energy of comfort or whatever, it's a big part of your life, right? It, it, and it's present outside of your home as well and inside of the home and outside the home and inside the home with other aspects just besides the actual physical house itself. So I think it's very, very, very important to look at this just to monitor your overall level of happiness, okay? Uh, I'll give you one quick example. Let's just say you are running a certain dasha, right? And you are getting a certain job okay so your d1 chart shows a job change okay now naturally you'd look at the d10 chart just to see oh you know whatever you look at it for but i think you should look at the d10 chart just to see okay how karmically you feel about this job do you think you're helping a lot of people do you think it's the right thing for you whatever you need to look at your d4 chart as well as well as a couple other charts like d3 and d9 but you need to look at your d4 chart as well just to see okay do do i feel overall happy when I have this job, and, and I'm not saying overall happy, am I happy with this job? I'm saying, are you overall happy because of this job? Like in all that, because we tend to think of, okay, job, are you happy at the job? Are you happy, whatever? But your job, the energy from your job affects your energy in everything in your life, okay? This is why 10 and four, aspect each other in the Lugna chart, okay? They feed off one another. Most people don't look at this like this. They just look at aspects as like something else very materially, like a planet that sits in one, you know, its effects are slightly shown in the other, which is true to an extent, but the energies of four and 10 always go across each other. So you need to see that, um, that okay, how is this, is this job making me happy in whatever? And if it is or it isn't, you need to see how. For example, Let's just say Jupiter is in Sagittarius in uh, the fourth house in the D4. Okay, I'm just giving you an example. Or let's just say, I'll give you another example. Let's just say Jupiter is in the uh, Sagittarius in the seventh house in D4, right? And let's just say your D1 and D10 are real good. So you got, let's just say D1 also shows job change. So you got job change and then the D10 chart shows you feel real good about your job. Now, what this can show, this is a pretty good Jupiter placement in my opinion, if you ask me, right? So this could show that, okay, you are, through your job somehow, you're 
becoming a little bit more wise with your spouse and most likely things are going to go good. Okay. You got to also see other divisional charts like D9, D3. This is where you got to tie everything together, like, which is what I've been trying to preach since like day one on here. But I'm giving you a specific example, just looking at D3, right? So for example, I'll give you just another, just dive into more specific. Let's just say you get a promotion, which is the D1 chart. D10 chart shows, yeah, you know what? I strongly feel like I have a very much better impact on my clients, my employees, whatever, even the upper management because of this promotion, I'm taking on more responsibilities, whatever. And in my D4 chart, let's just say hypothetically, because of this placement, like I'm saying uh, a superficial cause of this placement. So Jupiter is in the seventh house in D4 in the sign of Sagittarius. Let's just say somehow you, I said, right? Like you're somehow being a little bit more wise about your relations and things are going good at home. Let's just say because of this increase in responsibility, you feel more confident, you feel more, like more of a leader. And then therefore at your home, you're able to take better decisions and stuff like this, right? I'm giving you an example of how this plays out. Um, but I hopefully, I hope you really see the importance here of the D4 chart. This could also work the opposite way, okay? Let's just say you have Mercury uh, in, in Pisces in the seventh house in D4, right? I'm giving you the same house just so you guys can see how it's, how the other way around could work. Let's just say you're not making great decisions, right? You're, 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 uh, you're, you're saying whatever you want at the house, like you're, you, things are not really going well, maybe you're not watching your communication that well, okay, this is kind of what this placement can show. Uh, uh, not, not at necessarily an external level, because that's shown from D1, but D4 is mainly just showing that you, you don't really have a filter at home. This, in general, this could show like you don't really have a filter at home when it comes to the people in your house, okay? So, or you, you feel less inclined to have a filter at home. Whether you will do that or not, that's shown for the D1, but like I said, the divisional charts, all of them have an influence on what's happening externally. So let's just say hypothetically, your D1 chart also shows, is signifying that, you know, your communication is a little bit hampered. Let's just say you have Mars in third house or something like this. And um, D4 chart, you have that placement and yeah, and let's just say you're running a Mercury period, right? So this will show that, uh, th this will show, regardless of what D10 shows, because like I said, the four and the 10 influence each other. This will show that, okay, at, in the, in the, uh, at home, like y you're more, you're less inclined to have a filter I inside, right? And this is affecting your happiness and all this kind of stuff. And that's automatically going to affect your career or the things you do, right? Because if you're not feeling comfortable at home, you're not feeling happiness, that negative low energy is going to carry over to when you leave the home, when you're not in your comfort zone anymore, when you have to start doing stuff, you're going to be in a lot more crabby mood and all this kind of stuff. You're going to be in a lowered state, all kind of things you don't want, okay? So it's important to identify this because let's just say you have a, a great D1 and D10 chart, right? You, you think your career is going great, but all of a sudden your D4 chart is a little bit hampered and you're wondering, you know, why why your career, like why your life is just overall not happy because you got this job and stuff. You might want to take a look at the D4 chart because it'll show you that, okay? It'll, it'll show you how things are happening at home, how your happiness is in the certain energy of comforts and things like this. Also, I'll give you one other example. And I always use the example of career and relationships because this is the thing that most of people are asking about. But the, let's just say with relationships, right? I've said the D7 chart shows more the material aspects of marriage. The nine shows the, um, the uh, the spiritual aspects, right? And let's just in the Lugna chart shows what's happening on the surface. So let's just say um, the you are getting the the right person, right? D seven, D nine, everything's good, material and spiritually, you just connect with them. But let's just say the D four chart will just show. Okay, you could have this. Let's just say it's hampered, right? Let's just say it's it's Venus in. Uh, Let's just say it's Venus in Aries in the seventh house in your D4 chart, right? Let's just say hypothetically your D1, D7, and D9 are good. So you found a great person. Materially, you're getting along. Spiritually, you kind of understand some stuff. Uh, but the D4 chart could show a little bit of a struggle that, hey, at home, this person just isn't giving me the comforts that I want, okay? Um, and what kind of comforts you got to see? Okay, what planet is in Taurus? What planet is in Libra? All this kind of stuff. It's conjunctions. All, uh, what's conjunct Venus? 
all this kind of stuff. Where's the Lugna Lord of D4? But I'm saying in general, okay, this can be an obstacle and you might think, oh, you know, this is not there. Maybe that's important, blah, blah, blah. But you just don't understand on how to deal with the problem, okay? Because in this modern day of thinking, we tend to generalize how to deal with a lot of problems, okay? When there's a lot deeper spiritual significance to most problems that we just don't know how to identify. And even, and I'm telling you, for those of us who are into Vedic astrology and stuff like this, look at these charts. It'll give you a big hint, okay? For example, let's just say that same example, but your D3 chart is also hampered. Now your efforts and your home is hampered. So now you're lazy and you're spoiled at home and there's a problem. It's not the actual person itself. It's just you're spoiled at home and you're not putting in any effort, okay? Uh, and let's just say one of those two is hampered. Let's just say your D4 is good and your D3 is bad, uh, bad and good. But now you say, okay, you're not really spoiled at home, but you're just you're just so lazy. This is pro this might be what's causing the problem for your marriage. Okay, you got to see these things. Okay, this is why you got to look at everything in a bigger picture. But like I said, just when it comes to the D4 chart, just remember, this is hugely important because that feeling of happiness or comfort is very, very, very big and important. Okay, this is why the moon itself owns the fourth sign. Okay, and it's the significator or the karka of the fourth house. Okay, you're you're mentally very dependent on this feeling of happiness or comfort. Okay, and if that's not there, it's gonna affect the mind. And the whole dasha system is built off of the mind, the moon nakshatra. So it's going to strongly, strongly affect your everything in your life. Okay, so I'd strongly, when it comes to things in your life, marriage, career, whatever. Yeah, sure, look at those divisional charts. Look at the D1 chart, see what's happening, blah, blah, blah. But just take a look at the D4 chart. Just like with D3 chart, it's important to look at efforts, which I discussed in the last video. With D4 charts, it's important to look at your happiness, that feeling of comfort that you're getting. Because if that's not there, th there's going to be a problem in your life that maybe that there's not an external solution for. Um, and even if there is, it's most likely going to be shown from the D4 itself, not anything else. Uh, but that feeling of happiness or comfort is... See, you guys are asking about relationships, like career stuff like this. And sometimes the reason that might be is because you don't have that feeling of happiness. And you guys are always asking, okay, when am I going to find a new person? When am I going to find a new job? Blah, blah, blah. But sometimes the problems are not directed from the job or the person itself. Sometimes it's just connected that you don't feel happy or comfortable at home or in general. And sometimes you got to see what mindset you can adapt to get that. Sometimes, like I said, it might be shown that, okay, it's with your job or career, right? You can see. It. But it's important to know and have confirmation and understand that, yeah, that's at least that feeling of happiness that I'm looking for. It's, 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 it's missing from there, okay? Uh, and if, if that feeling of happiness and comfort is not missing from there and you're trying to find it from somewhere else, maybe that's not the best solution. So this is why the D4 chart is really, really important to look at, okay? Uh, so I hope this really made sense um, of why to look at the D4 chart and value it, especially the Desha planets you're running, look at those in the D4 chart, especially if you're feeling some kind of lack of happiness on the inside. Uh, uh, again, this is just my opinion, okay? If you don't agree, that's okay. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to let me know. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you very, very much for watching.